All right, so you've done that now. Um, I think you're ready to kind of get into the Zoom chats next week and uh, to be talking about how we're going to kind of solve this problem that Barry's given us, which is this youth crime, youth gang problem in Canberra, apparently, anyway. Uh, differential association, I think, gives us a really good framework for thinking about how we might respond to youth and the kind of emergence of subcultures of criminal groups and criminal gangs. So um, think about that and hopefully uh, come the tutorials this week on Zoom, we'll be able to talk in more detail about how you could respond uh, through your uh, five point plan um, if you're doing it as a group or if you've decided to go to it individually, whether this is a, in fact a recommendation you're going to choose for your essay. The next most important task is that you go away and you find some resources and you upload them into the resource module. Um, what I'd be looking for this week is really evidence of the use of differential association to describe youth gangs. Um, any programs or interventions that have been described in the literature that seem to have worked for minimising differential association or, you know, working with young kids who are involved in gangs or other criminal subcultures. Um, there'd be plenty of research out there on this differential association. The theory has been around for years. Um, so I would focus more on what's happened in the recent couple of years um, and to think about what that means in the kind of context of the criminological theory. Um, I think I mentioned in, in the lecture that, uh, you know, the idea of African youth gangs or Sudanese youth gangs in Melbourne has been a topic of great interest um, in the not kind of too distant past. Uh, so that might be a good place to start thinking about whether there's any contemporary Australian literature on this idea of youth gangs and more importantly, the kind of differential association theory. So good luck. Um, the resources module is not in this section, but it's back on the Waddle site. Don't forget, in order to get access to Module 3, you'll need to have uploaded at least two resources for Module 2. Um, so make sure you do that, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, thanks again. Talk soon. Bye.